Hello and welcome to another Mac Apper video review. I'm Michael Mistretta and today we want to talk about Hazel, which is a very interesting application that's supposed to be like an automatic house cleaner for your computer. And it is a preference pane, it is in system preferences, and it has a really simple interface with just three tabs here. It runs in the background as you can see, and so let's just dive right into this to see what it does for your system. Uh, first, you'll notice in the trash folder, um, it can delete files that are sitting in your trash for more than a day or more than two days or whatever you like. Your trash will just automatically delete those files so that it will keep the size down. Also, if you have big files in your trash, you can set a preference that will keep the trash size under two gigabytes. Um, you can change that, of course, to megabytes or whatever you want. Also, oversized files such as movies or, or any big files that you put in the trash, you can have them deleted automatically. Um, finally, one of the cool things here is that it enable app sweep. So, as you know, App Zapper is an application or app delete or many applications for the Mac that you can pay for, and you have to drag your application onto them when you want to delete them, and they'll delete all the preference files. Well, Hazel will do this for you. If we just go to my applications folder, there's an app here that let's say I want to delete called um, Red Sim State or Arena. So I'm going to delete that file. And Hazel is going to pop up a window saying, Hazel found files related to this, so the preference files. And I could choose to keep them or to throw them away, and I want to throw them away. And also what's really interesting that I just discovered is it, then if you go to your trash, you see that you find the Sim Staple Arena support files and the Sim Staple Arena. If you were to drag Sim Staple Arena back into your applications folder, Hazel will say, Sim Staple Arena has been reinstalled. Do you want us to reinstall the support files? You click reinstall and Hazel does that in the background. So it's a really automated way of doing this and you don't really have to think about what you're doing. But that's just a small part of Hazel. If we go to the folders thing tab here, this is where Hazel really becomes really important. So you can set Hazel to watch certain folders and perform certain actions based on certain rules. So it sounds very complicated but once you get the hang of this it becomes really easy. So I, right now I have it watching my downloads folder and so any incomplete downloads or downloads that I cancel will be deleted after one day, which I want. I don't want them cluttering up my downloads folder. And then I have a bunch of actions here. So movies, music, pictures, documents, disk images, and archive. So let's just double click one of these and see what they do. So basically the description of this is movies and it's watching the downloads folder. And it's saying if all the following conditions are met and I can add as many as the, of these conditions as I want with the plus and minus buttons. But right now I just have one. So kind is movie. So if there's a movie in my downloads folder, what's it going to do? It's going to set the color label to blue and it's going to move the file to a subfolder in the downloads folder called movies. Um, just to show you how this looks, my downloads folder looks like this. I have all different subfolders here. I have archive, audio, disk images, docs, movies, and pictures. And I want all my files to be sorted by kind. So this is just a really simple script that we're setting up. In music, it's similar to the same. Kind is music. You can choose from here. Kind is movie. Kind is PDF. But whatever you want. So kind is music. It's going to set the color label to purple. And it's going to move it into the audio folder. Pictures. It's going to set the color to orange. Put them in the pics folder. Documents. Now this is, it could be a document, a PDF, a presentation, or a text file. That's going to move to the documents folder. Disk images. So disk images I download, they'll be all sorted away. And finally, archive, which is a little different. So date created is not in the last week. So if it's cre if it's more than a week old, it's going to move move into my archive folder, which is what I want it to do. But you can do a lot more advanced things. So I can say I want to um, archive the file so it would actually zip it. I can actually show it in the finder. I can rename it. Really interesting, you could sort it into subfolders. So you can put it into subfolders by date. That's so it's doing all this automatically, which is very, very cool. But let's actually see how Hazel works. So I'm going to open my uh, downloads folder here. This is what it looks like right now. And I've prepared um, a Hazel demo, which is just a bunch of different documents. There's pictures in here, there's music, there's documents, there's movies. I'm just going to select all of this and drag it into my downloads folder and watch Hazel do its work. So they're all in my downloads folder and Hazel's going to do its job and sort all these files away automatically as soon as they come in. So it's like I just downloaded these files. 
Now, if I look in here, my audio folder, there's my four audio files, and they're all color-coded with the purple. In my disk images, I didn't download any disk images, so none are in there. Documents, they're all in blue. These are presentations, PDFs, pages documents. Movies, the movies are all sorted into blue. So I had, and even pictures are all in orange. So it sorts everything for you. And this is just a very simple use of Hazel, but it's, it does it all in the background for you and you can be more organized. And of course you can set up other scripts for your desktop so it will automatically clean up your desktop at the end of the way and put all that stuff into a folder. It's a very, very powerful and useful application and I would definitely recommend it for anyone who wants to keep their computer organized.